There are those that say there's something about you that's not connecting for whatever reason, not connecting with the voter, whether or not it be personality. Donald Trump says it's about loyalty. Francis Suarez says it's about your relationships. And it's not about those individuals so much as I'm curious in the, the, the analysis of Ron DeSantis of why not yet is connecting. Well, I think, did you just see the news today about uh, the record fundraising haul we've had? Nobody's been able to match that in the history of modern presidential politics. Okay, <laughs> a few things. Now, to be fair to Ron DeSantis, it's an impossible question posed by Fox News Phil and host last night, who has had his own troubles connecting in the past. Uh, there's no good way for any politician to answer, like, what's wrong with you? Why don't people like you? And yet it's a consistent genre of, of campaign questions. But that really is not the kind of question a candidate wants to be hearing at this point in the campaign. And on that front, DeSantis really does only have himself to blame for being in this position, pulling 30 points behind Donald Trump six weeks after formally launching his bid for president. The Florida governor has made a career out of being the far right wing king. From the don't say gay law to banning trans health care in the state of Florida, and banning abortion after six weeks and shipping migrants out of the state, possibly in what some believe was a criminal scheme, DeSantis has positioned himself as the hardest core member of the MAGA army. And while that may get him Eric time on Fox, and in fact it has, I don't think it's broadly popular among the general population, general electorate. But also, there's a precedent here he should think of, because others have tried this exact same model before, and it failed spectacularly. Do you remember the disastrous presidential campaign of one Texas senator, Ted Cruz?